one, we're gonna do another sensory jar with our tea bottle again. But this time, we're going to use colored rice. Now, what color is this? Orange. Orange. Now, do you know how to color rice? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do, do you? Did you watch Miss Terry's tutorial? Well, if you didn't, I'm going to link it right below our video so you can learn how to color your rice too. This week, we're going to use orange so it's like fire. We're going to take our bottle and we're going to fill it with rice. Okay. Next, let's put some jingle, jingle bells. bells. Now you can put anything that you have in your house in here. This is just kind of keep a kid quiet time. We also have <laughs> some letter beads. So once again, if we're working on our alphabet, we can search for letters in our sensory jar. Drop them in. These are a lot bouncy. No, they're not very bouncy, okay? Next, we can add just some other beads. Anything you have laying around, you can go ahead and throw in, as long as it's dry. You don't want to put anything wet with your rice. No. No. Nope. But set not wet. Yeah. How about we throw in some... Beads like this to go with our orange rice. Go ahead and drop them in. Okay. Do you think that's enough stuff? How about we throw one of our pom poms that we used in our other video in? Yeah? We'll throw yellow and orange and red. Does that look good? Yeah. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is fill the rest of our bottle with our rice. Now, we want to leave a little room at the top so we can be able to move it around. So, we're going to put our cap on and then we're going to move all our stuff. We're going to shake it and move it around. And where are the jingles? They're right in there. But how do we jingle them? Can you hear it? No? Okay. But that is our rice sensory bottle. Okay.